Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of maxing, having fun, and going for the Dragon Trophy in the Shattered Relics League, but not necessarily in that order. Last video, we got 99 woodcutting, 99 construction, and 99 thieving. And today, I haven't really decided which 99s we're gonna go for, but we are gonna go for 99, or multiple 99s. But for now, I have to AFK and edit the previous video as I usually do. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna work on doing some laps at the Apatol Agility course. Rudy 2D, two times Rooney's, level three. The editing is done and I could play the game for today. And I decided the 99 that I wanna go for first today is farming. I was waiting to do farming specifically to get this fragment to level three because it guarantees that you always get double harvest when you're farming, which does work with Tithe Farm. I also have Greedy Gatherer, so I get three times the resources, but stacking with this, I'm going to be harvesting six times the amount of fruits. I just want to point out that of the fragments I have unlocked, there's only one that isn't level three yet. Um, you can see I have it filtered by level one here, so I have none level one. If I filter by level two, that's the only one I have at level two and the rest of them are level three or I just don't have them unlocked yet. And one more thing I wanted to show you was the Fragment Presets plugin. I got this plugin like shortly after the league came out, but it only worked in full screen, like not even in resizable, it'd be like off the screen to the left here. You have to actually go into full screen to see it, but they finally changed it like today or maybe yesterday, I think, because I, I haven't seen this before. I've had the plugin enabled this whole time, but I don't remember seeing this until today. So now I could actually use this because it would have been very inconvenient for me to have to go into full screen and make my window super big and go back and change the resizable and stuff. So now I can actually use this and make presets and you could see how that works. Oh, there's a shooting star here. Well, I know what I'm doing with the next 30 minutes in my life. Oh yeah, I forgot, because I have Greedy Gatherer enabled, so I'm getting three times the amount of resources. And there goes the shooting star. I managed to get 3.7K Stardust, so we can actually go spend some of that now. Looking at the XP per hour, I spent over an hour mining that shooting star, but it was very much worth it because we can get one task done. I don't know if it's worth it, but I had fun mining the shooting star. There's like three tasks you can do with the Stardust. It's buy the Celestial Ring, recolor a piece of the Prospector outfit, or recolor the full outfit. But then there's also to craft the Celestial Signet, which you combine the thing from the Crystal Implings with the Celestial Ring that you get from Desuri. But I'm just gonna be getting one task done right here, which is buy the Celestial Ring, which gives two renown. And this gives an invisible plus four boost when I'm mining. Okay, now we are at Tithe Farm. Let's start the 99 farming grind for real, uh, starting off with 80 farming. It should be really fast with these fragments. I'll show you like how OP they really are. Look at this sucker planting 20 of them at a time. Not only do you not have to plant 20 of them, or me at least with my fragments, I only have to plant 17. I don't have to do like multiple rounds of these either. Only one round of 17 should be enough. Okay, harvesting the first plant here, we should get six of them. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. And then with the rogues farm thing uh, fragment, I get four times the amount of points. And then the cap for the fruits that you can turn in, you can only turn it up to 100. So if you turn in more than 100, it's just completely pointless. And with 17, getting six each, that should put us at about 100. Yep, that's it. Just like five minutes and I have 100 fruits and we can turn this in every five minutes. How much XP will I be getting? 567k, dude. <laughs> and what was the fragment? I unlock CD Business, which has a chance of saving seeds. One of the few skilling fragments I don't have unlocked yet. Or, well, I have it unlocked now. As I said, four times points. So instead of getting 26 points, I got 100 or yeah 104 points from just that doing that one run and then whenever all my watering cans are empty i'll just show you now i can use the humidify spell to fill all them up i don't have to like manually fill them up at the water barrel i guess uh we'll get into it and we'll get this 99 it shouldn't take too long i guess probably a couple hours at the most and cd business is already level two just from uh getting more fragments from tithe farm wait a second i've capped out my points I didn't realize the cap was 1k, so I guess I'm going to have to spend these. I'm going to buy the seed box for 250 points, and that gives me some leak points, and then Gricoler's can as well. Another task for leak points, and then buy auto weed, which I don't think is a leak task, no, but I'm glad to have auto weed. Well, I guess with Gricoler's can, I don't need all these other watering cans then, huh? I've never owned this item on any account before, so I'm not quite sure how it works. What Gricoler's can does is it holds a thousand charges of water, so I guess that means I don't need the watering cans anymore. I can just keep that in my inventory. And then the way the watering can works, you could spend tithe farm points to fill it up, but that's just completely pointless because you could just fill it up at a water source or just use humidify 
And that is going to instantly bring it back up to 100%. Oh, I didn't know that was coming. With that farming level, that puts me at 2,000 total level. 125 leak points for that. And I have all these points. I'm going to like reach the cap again, so I don't know like what to buy. I guess super compost could be good. I know I'm not going to plant any of these grape seeds, so... I could just buy a bunch of super compost, I guess. And then later on, I could just add some volcanic ash to that to make ultra compost. By the way, I can't buy the herb sack because I don't have 58 herbler to buy it. Oh no, look at all those dead crops that person planted. Guess they uh, took on a little bit more than they could handle, huh? All right, this is it. I'm going to deposit into the sack. Space bar, and that is 99 farming. Uh, let's take a look at the XP per hour I was getting. So 7 million XP per hour, and it was under two hours to get from 80 to 99. Just bought a little bit more super compost and saving a little bit of points to buy the herb sack later on. And then just from opening all those fragments, I got to 4.5K XP for your CD business. But time to move on to the next skill or skills. I'm thinking we'll do uh, mining and smithing because those just kind of go in conjunction with each other. But before we do that, we have to do the Varrock Easy Diary because the Varrock Armor 1 gives you a 10% chance of mining double iron, and I'll be mining iron to get to 99. Jumping over the fence, and that is the Varrock Easy Diary done. Let's go get the reward, and that was also a leak task to do the Easy Diary. Oh yeah, we're gonna get the XP Lamp, which you could only use on skills over level 30, and my Urblor is only 26, but I think I can make some attack potions and get to 30. I haven't trained Urblor, so I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but with the Alchemist, when you're training Urblor, it does everything at once, but I'm not sure if that works for unfinished potions. Let's find out if it makes them. Oh, it does make them all at once. And then we also shouldn't use up any of these Eyes of Newt when I make these attack potions. Nice. Level 29. Make a four dose potion because with mixologist level three, it guarantees every potion you make will be four dose. And there we go, 30 herblore. I can use the XP lamp on it. And the base level 30 is too, 25 leak points. We'll use that, and that's going to put us at 43 Erblor from 30. Holy frick, dude. And base level 40s too, another leak task done. <laughs> yeah, Erblor is just by far the lowest skill on the account. I'm, I've just kind of been putting off doing the farm runs and stuff. Oh, which reminds me, I should buy the farming cape because that gives you 5% increased yield when you farm herbs. Spending 99k to buy the farming skill cape. And then once I eventually start doing herb runs, I'll try to remember to wear this, although it probably won't matter too much. It should go by really fast, getting six times herbs. Now the hard part is going to be finding a world. I need to get just two rocks. That's all I need. I need to be alone so I can get the most efficient XP rates possible. Just kidding, I'll be very inefficient and not paying too much attention, but still. Before I get started, I have to show you my beastly setup for mining. So first off, we have rock solid, which is a 75% chance of the iron not getting depleted. Molten Miner will smelt 100% of the ores that I mine. Clue Vessels are found 10 times more often. And then I just have these for set effects. For the set effects, Greedy Gatherer gives me three times the resources, Personal Banker banks everything that I mine. So I'm gonna be mining three steel bars at a time that are automatically gonna get sent to the bank. And there's also a 10% chance that I get double, which means that I'm gonna get six steel bars sent to the bank because of the Rock Armor one. I kinda do wanna mine in the guild though, just to get the unidentified minerals. I do have uh, some from before, although there is no leak task for getting any of the mining gloves, so I guess it doesn't actually even matter. And none of the mining gloves even help with iron, but later on it could help if I decide to mine amethyst, or I guess for like any other ore, but amethyst was kind of the main thing I was thinking of. Could it be an open iron ore spot? Here we go. All right, we're starting with 88 mining, and let's begin the road to 99. And just, okay, that was a bad example. I was going to say, just watch, okay, stop, just start, start, stop, stop depleting them. <laughs> Why am I, am I, do I have something set up wrong? Okay, no, I have it here. Okay, just watch all these ores getting mined without the rock being depleted. I'm getting the smithing XP. Oh, I think that was six times because you saw I got like even more XP from there. Anyways, this is so fun to do and it's so satisfying to see all these XP drops when mining iron. Look at that. How many times in a row can I mine this rock? You see though, like when the rock body procs, it gives you like a double back-to-back -back one. Normally there's like a space in between them, but whenever it procs, they're just back-to-back. -back. And you can see I am getting triple of the unidentified minerals each time I roll one. Something I forgot to mention about mining in the guild is that it has an invisible plus seven mining boost and on top of that, I have the Celestial Ring giving me another plus four invisible mining boost, which do stack with each other. Oh boy, here we go, 99 mining. All right, let's put the XP per hour up on screen once again. 
Uh, and this is a 1 to 2 ratio of smithing XP to mining XP. So with my inefficient rates, I was getting 1 mil smithing XP per hour and 2 mil mining XP per hour. And then if I open up the game chat here, you can see I have over 20,000 steel bars. And it looks like I spent just over four hours mining today to get to 99. Uh, and we made it up to 92 smithing, which I guess makes sense. That's the halfway point to 99. And that's the next 99 I want to get is smithing. We have all those steel bars, so we can start making those into things. And of course, I have all these clue geodes to open up. I want to do a price check because I'm really curious what 20,000 steel bars are worth. 7.2 million GP. Let's take a look at my fragment setup for training smithing. I think the only fragment itself that affects smithing is this one right here, smithing double, which gives you with uh, level three, a 30% chance of getting double of whatever item you're making. And then as for the set effects, Craftsman does the whole inventory at once. I'm gonna start off by making dart tips. And if I did the math right, which I might not have done it right, but I think I should need 100,000 dart tips and one inventory is gonna make me 350. Well, it's gonna be about 350 because it's a 30% chance to get double from each bar. So I guess that means 100,000 would be like less than 10,000 steel bars is what I would have to make into darts. And then the rest I can make into plate bodies, assuming I'm not 99 smithing by then, which I very well could be. I wasn't paying attention to the XP drop each time I do that. Let me see how much XP I get for each inventory. That is an 18K XP drop. The reason why I have the steel bars in my inventory is because of how fast it is to unnote them versus just like opening up the bank. You could see it's just like that. Save so many ticks that way. Although then again, I don't have the extra inventory spot that I could have one extra steel bar in there. So I don't know, maybe it bounces out. I'm just kind of used to doing it this way. The XP drop I'm getting each time is different. So it does matter like how many times the perk procs for each of the steel bars, which it also says right here, chance for double product with 100% of the XP. Well, this is really interesting timing because I got pretty much the exact amount of steel dart tips that I need for 99 fletching, right as we're about to get level 99 smithing. There we go. And uh, if you look in the chat box, you could see there's the 99 mining right there, all without getting logged out. And then of course, here's the XP per hour. This took like exactly one hour to get 6 million smithing XP, insanely fast. And now we have 99 fletching banked for the future for when I do stuff like herbivore and sepulcher, or maybe I'll just stand at the bank and make it all at once because I won't feel like doing anything else, we'll see. And the GE value of this stuff is five mil plus these steel bars makes it 9.5 mil. Oh yeah, cause like I would make multiple per bar. That's why the value went up of these combined. Okay, let me just deposit this into the bank and that right there, that is gonna be a good thumbnail. No way, you're telling me they moved the farming guild to Prith? I'm glad I got that super compost from doing tight farm because now I'm gonna have ultra compost for the farm runs that I really need to get started on. Is there a way to do this all at once? Probably not. I was gonna say with like one of the side effects, maybe with like alchemist or something because I have craftsman enabled. Let's see, with alchemist enabled, can I make the full inventory at once? No, sad. Oh, and speaking of sad, there's the six hour log coming in hot. Let me show you my fragment setup for farm runs, which I'm finally gonna start now, probably. <laughs> uh, so first we have certified farmer, which gives me guaranteed double loot from farming or guaranteed double resources. And they're all noted too. Uh, and then CD business, which I only have level two at the moment, so it's only 25% chance, but it is very close to level three. And once I get that, uh, hopefully tonight, I'll have a 50% chance to save the seeds that I plant, which essentially doubles my seeds. And then the rest of this stuff is just for set effects. And for the set effects, the main important one here is greedy gatherer. Oh yeah, you saw this before. So I'll get six times resources or six times uh, herbs when I'm harvesting them in total, which will be really nice. And then also a personal banker, which doesn't really matter that much because the herbs are gonna be noted in my inventory when I harvest them. I think this is the first time harvesting herbs on the account. So take a look, it should be times six and noted. And oh yeah, it won't be in the inventory, but it'll be in the bank. You'd see each time it's going up by six. I feel like it might be nicer to not have the personal bank around because it just seems really satisfying to have the noted herbs just stack up in your inventory as you're doing the farm runs. And then another nice thing about the farming cape is that it gives you unlimited teleports to the farming guild. And then with the construction cape, 
you know, I could go to any POH portal I want, and I could just use this to go to the host cities portal, which is right next to the farming patch. So glad to have these capes for a couple of nice uh, close herb patches. And then now they have auto weed, I'll only have to rake all these patches once for the first time and then never again. Also, I don't think I really need the crafting cape if I have the farming cape on me. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not like crunched for inventory space, but the farming cape teleports you like right around here and there's a bank right there too, so. Yeah, it's, it's next to that guy over there. If you unfilter the game messages, you could see it says your seed saver fragment has allowed you to keep your seed. Before I do some Apatol laps tonight, I want to do a bit of mining. I want to mine the salts that I need to build the Weiss portal in the POH, or not the portal, in the center of the Nexus, because there's a leak task to teleport to Weiss using a portal Nexus. And for that, I'm going to need 1,000 basalt, 1,000 red salt, and 3,000 blue salt. Maybe I should have done this before getting 99 mining, but I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's not like it's gonna take that long it's not like it's gonna be that much xp anyways it's gonna be really nice though having the personal banker set effect and greedy gatherer too of course because the basalts don't stack which means you have to run up here each time and note them on snowflake but because they get sent directly to the bank that's like skipping a whole extra step for mining the basalt right here and we should be getting three at a time each time i mine one of these there's 13, that should be 16, yep. And of course it'll be 3x for mining these salts as well. And there it is, CD business up to level three. Well, there's all the salts I'll need to add the Weiss teleport into the Nexus. I'm definitely not gonna do that for the Troll Stronghold. The Troll Stronghold would be lucky to even get a portal in the POH, which it's not even gonna get that. I was doing the math and I think in total, in order to get 99 herb lore, like on average, I should only need like 200 seeds or actually 100 because I saved half of them. 100 seeds should be enough to get me to 99 herb lore. But then again, I also might need potions for bossing, so we'll see. Point being though, is that I will not have to do that many farm runs in total. And since there's no task to use a troll stronghold portal or nexus teleport or whatever, I ain't gonna do it. I, I gotta get used to using this to teleport to the POH and not using the house teleport, still a habit. As you can see though, I'm pretty poor and the first priority for upgrades in the POH is definitely not gonna be the Nexus, so I do have the salts to build it whenever I do decide to go and do that. But for now, for the farm runs, I'll just be using like these actual teleport basalts. Harvest an errant leaf was the leak task. I knew that was the thing. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I, I love... I love that message. <laughs> With that though, I am off to my favorite place for the rest of the night, the Apatol Agility Course, while I edit. And that is gonna be a wrap for today's event. Actually, wait, let me do a farm run before bed. Uh, and I just got a test and harvest any herb at the Troll Stronghold. I know I have five limperts in the bank, and when I harvest this, I should get six times the amount, I believe, so... I'm now set for limperts after planting only one. I mean, I'll plant another one, I, I guess, but... I don't think I need to plant any more limperts. Look at that, already up to over 500 errors just from like a few casual patches. But like I was saying before, this is gonna be a wrap for today's adventures. We made it up to 2,052 total level. Here's the league points and everything. And yeah, I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow.